Hi everyone, it's been a while I know. Um, if you did not hear in the news, the actors have been on strike. So um, I am just getting back into the swing of things because finally they have reached an agreement. So I'm able to start doing my videos again. I want to kind of bounce off of Shana's um, very important professional development that she did about two weeks ago on number talks and she used a resource that actually Mrs. Greco had in her room and I thought you know it is very hard for us to read such thick books uh, during the school year while we are teaching planning prepping so what a better way to uh, provide you with some information is for me to read maybe a chapter at a time and kind of share that out with you number talks really is about getting the classroom involved in mental math and uh, number fluency. They recommend you have a designated area in your classroom, one in which the teacher can facilitate any conversation, and also to practice modeling that talk with your students. Some examples and some uh, prompts that you might want to have available on an anchor chart or on your board for the students to use during their number talks would be these, I agree with blank because blank. I do not understand blank. Can you explain this again? I disagree with blank because blank. How did you decide to blank? Those are all really great question stems that students can use when talking to other students about their work. Here is a, a very brief example, very similar to the one that Shana provided us during our uh, faculty PD. It has uh, 28 plus 29, asking students to add those two numbers together. And it's important for you to think about all the strategies before you present this to the class as well. Here are four different strategies that students may have come up with in your class. And that is something that you could leave available too. And when you come to uh, the next day or in a few days when you do it again and say you wanted to add two different numbers, uh, perhaps 38 plus 42, students could again think about how they would compute that and you could ask students, what strategy did you use? Did you use strategy one? Did you use strategy two? Did you use strategy three or four? And um, that way you can get a good feel of the classroom too, what strategies are working for them. Now, your number talk should only take up about five to 15 minutes of your um, daily math instruction. You may decide not to do it every day. It might be something you do every other day. For something simple for our younger students, you might even put maybe dots on the board and ask them different ways that they might break those uh, dots down. One student might decide to do this. One student might decide to do this. Break it into threes. Another student might do it this way. All different ways to make number sense. So I hope you gained something from this. This was out of chapter two of Number Talks, and I will continue with different chapters as well. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.